The music world was left in shock when the iconic Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain tragically took his own life, a loss that still resonates 30 years on. Cobain, aged just 27, was found dead at his Lake Washington Boulevard home near Seattle, Washington, after committing suicide on April 5, 1994. His body wasn't discovered until three days later by an electrician named Gary Smith, who initially mistook him for a sleeping person. Blood from Cobain's ear, however, indicated a grim scene. The autopsy later confirmed he had died days earlier, with the official date of death recorded as April 5, 1994. A poignant suicide note was found near his body, addressed to his imaginary childhood friend Bodder. In it, Cobain lamented, I don't have the passion anymore, and so remember, it's better to burn out than to fade away, echoing Neil Young's haunting lyrics. He also expressed his wishes for his wife, Courtney Love, frontwoman of Hull, to please keep going for their daughter Frances, ending the note with a profound expression of love. I love you, I love you. Despite the clear evidence, Cobain's untimely demise has been shrouded in mystery with some fans concocting conspiracy theories about the possibility of foul play. In 2014, two decades after the tragic death of Kurt Cobain, Seattle police detective Mike Kiesinski was assigned to review the evidence surrounding the case as part of the cold case unit. Kurt's suicide wasn't his first attempt at taking his own life. In March 1994, the star overdosed on a lethal cocktail of champagne and rohypnol, and was found by wife Courtney Love the next morning while in Rome for medical treatment. He was immediately taken to hospital for treatment, and discharged five days later. Later that same month, Courtney contacted the police to inform them that Kurt was suicidal and had locked himself in a room with a gun, but when they arrived, he insisted he had only locked himself in there to avoid his wife. However, Police confiscated four guns, 25 boxes of ammunition, and a bottle of pills from the rock icon. His distraught wife organized an intervention to address his drug addiction, eventually persuading Kurt to detox at the Exodus Recovery Center in L.A. The 27-year-old saw his daughter Frances for the last time during visiting hours, but the following night he climbed over a six-foot fence and flew back home to Seattle. Detective Klesinski discovered undeveloped camera film containing photos of the original 1994 crime scene. It was allegedly decided by scene sergeant Don Cameron not to develop it at the time, instead ensuring it was securely stored away in the records room safe. 